Hello everyone, we're here, uh, our customer Joey is 420, that's his uh, Instagram, <laughs> Joey Martin is his name, we know him for a long time, long how long do we know you Joey, oh, 20 God. years? Yeah, at least 20 years. 20 years, I used to work with him, he's been a customer of us for years now, we set up this thing what, a couple years ago? Yeah, March of 2020. Yeah, so it's been two and a half years or so? Two and a half years. Two and a half years, there you go, so I haven't seen in over a year now the tank, so I stopped by today, we're going to do a little video of it, we're super excited, so come on in. Reef Pro 220 water box, uh, 185 display, I believe, and uh, 45 down low. What made you get into the hobby, man? I knew like, you for play, a long time play, and you never Playing video tank. games at your house. We're playing Gears of War 20 years ago, uh, watch, right. looking, staring at your aquarium. In the, All right, so that's what got you initiated. <laughs> that's what got me interested in always wanting one. And then, of course, you know, years later, I was able to uh, put one together. It's not easy, right? No, it's not. <laughs> not at all. So tell me, who's maintaining this tank right now? I know it's us, but who's the actual person that is taking care of the tank? Uh, Matty Fish. Uh, Matt, Matt's, uh, Matt's my, my reef manager, and he's, uh, man, he's, he's, he's A+. Plus. He is on it. He is, is he? He is the man, absolutely. Cool. So tell me a little bit about the tank. So I see you got four MP40s for flow. Total Apex system. You know, I've got everything. got my dosers. I've got my, my massive skimmer that... Uh, uh, we got that's a huge protein camera. What kind yeah. is that? It's a Regal. It's a Regal, yeah, 25 uh, or 250s rather. Wow, that is huge. So you do calcium alkalinity, I'm assuming. Yep. What's the other one? Magnesium, maybe. I magnesium want to say. Magnesium and Acropower. Oh, Acropower, amino acids. I see. Yeah, amino. Matt comes once every two weeks. And every two weeks. He does a, a complete little service. He checks out everything. You know, I mean, the, it, it keeps it looking A plus. Like I it's mean, supposed to be. I mean, it looks I amazing. Mean, it's it's a showstopper. It really is. And. I get so many comments on it, and I, again, it's, 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 a, it's a huge part of my life now, you know? So what does he do every two weeks when he comes by? I'm assuming a water change? Yep, water change, of course, you get the water change, he cleans up all the glass, he uh, checks out everything, makes sure everything is healthy, cleans out the skimmer, of course. Water test, filter socks, everything. Everything, swaps out, uh, absolutely, he, he's, he's on it all, and he's very efficient. And it's amazing because in, a, in the very beginning, when I first set the tank up, he stopped by the house for literally, I think it was maybe 20 minutes to drop off one of my... Uh, one of my lights and gotcha. uh, after that experience the rest was was a great relationship so in in the two weeks when he's not here what do you do to the tank i'm just making sure i'm staying on top of making sure it's you know all cleaned up making sure everything's topped off and uh you know just basic stuff actually. so you feed the fish oh well, of course you clean the glass oh yeah absolutely making sure your power heads are working correctly feed feed, feed feed the corals absolutely absolutely just make i mean I'm standing in front of it all the time, you know. I mean, it shows how clean the tank it is and how healthy it is, you know. So my other question is, in the two weeks in between, do you have to replace filter socks or no? Yeah, I replace them once in between, so they are getting changed out once a week. Of course, I, I drop the refroids in there once in a while, you know. Spot all right. I, I look so you spot feed the corals? I spot feed the corals, How often yeah. you do that? I do that once every couple of days, and I also feed them the, the WWC frozen food, too, to the acanthos and the cinerinas. Okay. You know? By, you know, feed them by hand. So the other question that I was going to have, I see you have sand here in the middle, but you have like calcium reactor media here on the side. Yeah, we just added some of that. And what was the reason for it? Well, I always had shrooms flo floating around and if you can't get on top of one of those baby jawbreakers, they just disappear on you, you know? So it gives them something to attach to. Plus I like the look, you know, the appeal of the rocks coming around the outside. I love it. Are you planning on filling it all I the way? I think I'm going to now after seeing how much I've liked it on the outside. I think I'm going to. Plus the bar goby keeps digging out in there and bringing it up. So it keeps everything kind of settled. So there's a couple pieces of coral that I can't help it but to just love the way they're looking. One of them is the space invader pectinia. Oh yeah. How happy it is back there. How long are those tentacles when they come out? Oh man, they're like 10 inches and there's like a hundred of them. No you joke. You have to be careful. No, oh yeah? Oh, they will sting all the corals like you have. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the the corals. The yeah, absolutely. The golden eye chalice is just so freaking happy, you know? I see the Montipora here. I love it too. The pectinia there is gorgeous. The rainbow, yeah. The thing that I noticed that is pretty cool, you didn't concentrate on making sure that every single coral was just the super latest and greatest. You you stuck to what you think is pretty and it shows on the tank the contrast of everything. You have a bunch of high end, you got a bunch of regular stuff. You got everything and everything's just super healthy, you know? That's what we we're going for is that total mixed reef appeal, you know? And yeah, sometimes I tell people all the time, don't get caught up into the latest and greatest. It's all about your personal taste. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So I see a lot of corals are pretty big. The space invader pectinia, the mushroom is splitting back there. The zoanthids are taking over. Cephestus are growing on the wall. 
Montipor is growing out of the water. What do you attribute the growth to? Uh, honestly, I, I got to say water changes. We change 50 to 60 gallons every two weeks, you know, so. Okay, so um, what percentage will that be? About 25, 30%? Right around, yeah, right around there. Let's talk about a little bit about your fish. I see you have a mandarin right there. Yeah, mandarin goby. He's, he's a cool one. I loved him since day one. I've always wanted one of those guys. I actually had an aptasia issue uh, a little while ago in... Uh, the copper band cleaned it all up, you know. Have you had any issues with him picking up corals? Not at all, actually. I mean, not, he, he's, he, he's, he's, <laughs> I tell you what, he's an aid to the tank. He really is. I mean, I, to me, a reef tank should have a copper band because Aptasia, some way or another, they end up sneaking in there. They're just too and small And many are to super control. hard to get to, yeah. Yeah, and they just keep the reef nice and clean. Like I was saying, I know Joey for about 20 years. We used to uh, work together, play video games together. We used to actually go and hang out together all over the place. And when he first set up the tank, he wanted me to personally come and do the rock, and I thought the rock came out phenomenal. I don't know if oh, we have. Oh, absolutely. I don't know if we have pictures that we can <laughs> dig him up somewhere. We do. But the aquascape, it was phenomenal. It came out very, very nice. However, the corals grew so much that you don't get to see the aquascape as much, other than the fish going in and out of little caves. Oh, yeah. The corals are really, really overgrown. I'm so impressed. I mean, this, this reef tank is. This is the epitome of how happy a reef tank looks, you know? That's the goal. And it I was mean, look at them. <laughs> Oh yeah, everything's just happy, thriving. I had a 92 gallon corner tank 20 something that's years ago. One. That's the one that started and us all. Those of you guys know me for a long time, that was the beginning, I never stopped. And today you guys know how crazy this has gotten, you know? All right, Joey, that is it. I don't have any more questions. Thank you for showing us everything oh, today. Thanks for coming by, we appreciate you guys. Everything you do for us is this reef, of course. We owe a lot to WWC, you know? Again, thank you, I'm so impressed, man. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below and give us a like. We'll see you guys soon.